Guten Tag, everyone. I am Samuel Johnson, and welcome back to the Ben 10 Retrospectives. And today, we're going to be talking about the fifth episode of the original Ben 10 series, Haunted. In, th in this episode, we, pretty much in this episode, we get the set next appearance of Vilgax, only in this episode, and like, well, like in the last episode, he's trying to get the Omnitrix, except now, instead of sending robots, he's going to be, he sends, he want, he hires three bounty hunters that... To try and get to try and get the on the tricks. Ben. Meanwhile, Ben is on. While well, Ben. Meanwhile, Ben is on Earth training with the on the tricks. But he all. Ben in the process. He almost. He winds up bungling and almost hurts his grandfather and cousin. So and in the pro. In the process, he winds up cutting a few. He winds up accidentally. Cutting a fuel line in their RV in the in their RV and thus they have to stop at they have to stop at this old mine old mine town to make repairs and while they're there the bounty hunters arrive and attack Ben and attack Ben Ben tries fighting them off but he doesn't fully succeed but however at one point he winds up however at one point and at one point Ben is surrounded by two of the bounty hunters. And it looks like he's about to lose, but then the third bounty hunter comes in and saves his lot. Comes in and saves him. And after, and Ben, and after he chews Ben out on his choice of aliens and fighting style, Ben, it's revealed that this, it, that this bounty hunter is actually a Petrosapien, or that's what they're called. That's what we learn they're called later. What, basically, it's the same species that Diamond Head is. And it turns out that he's act he's not here for the reward that Vilgax is putting up for the Omnitrix. He's actually just using that as a cover. And his real plan is to get the Omnitrix so that Vilgax can't get his hands on it. And his pl and thus, since it's attached to Ben, he's going to take Ben and bring him back to his and bring him back to his ship so he can remove the Omnitrix. However, just as he gets him, the other two bounty hunters. Okay. Capture Gwen and Matt. Capture Ben's cousin Gwen and his grandfather. And thus Matt. And thus Ben wants to save them, but Tetrax says no. We no, we can't do that. It used to be, you just be, you would easily be defeated. And so Tetrax goes out to fight them because they also have his hoverboard, which he says he needs to get off of Earth. And while he does put up a good fight, Ben ultimately when Ben decides to go in anyway, but. He takes the he takes the the diamond head alien diamond head aliens advice to heart and I'm, I might as well just say it now the diamond head alien is later on later revealed to be named Tetrax not in this episode but later but Ben decide but he takes his words to heart as well as some words of wisdom that his grandfather gave him earlier on in the episode about how Ben needs to think things through. And so instead of going like one of his heavy hitters, like upgrade, like, uh, or forearms, I mean, like going forearms, wild mud, or so on, he transforms into gray matter, the tiny alien, that little tiny alien that he went, that he used to go dumpster diving in cereal boxes in Washington, B.C. Sorry. And while it looks like it might not be able to fight off the bounty hunters, Ben is actually able to get onto them easily because he's small and sabotage their armor or I think in one of them in the case of one of them I think that might be what he really is and he manages to subdue them and so Tetrax or takes them takes the two these two into custody and decides to let ben, and decides to let Ben keep the on the tricks for now and honestly I kind of I'm kind of confused by that but in return he lets ben, he decides to let Ben keep his hoverboard because he lied about needing it to get off the planet, and he just teleports off into where, wherever his ship is, and Vilgax vows that he'll that he's gonna get back, that he's gonna get the Omnitrix someday. So, really, I think the episode was better when I was a kid, and there's something really objectively bad with the episode. I think it does work as a whole. Like I think, because I do kind of like that Ben has to that Ben has to learn to think strategically as a superhero. Because a constant theme, a constant thing in the series is that 
Ben is immature. He likes... Well, Ben... Uh, sorry. Ben is a very immature superhero, which makes sense. He's 10 years old. He likes having fun. And one of the, and part of the reason he even does the superhero thing is because he just ha is because he is and he likes having fun with it. But it's a kind of a thing that Ben usually goes through. Ben, even throughout, even after this episode, tends to go for heavy hitting aliens like forearms or diamond head or what have you. Rather than rather than other aliens, and while the other aliens do have their uses that Ben does take advantage of, he'd rather just go in and hit something really hard than think of a plan. And this in this case, it's Ben having to learn that that's not always what you have to do in order to do in order to win. And it kind of works too because in the because in this case, whenever he just goes to fight these bounty hunters, uh, I might as well just name them now. One of the bounty hunters is named Crab because he has a giant crab hand while the other one is is later revealed to be named six six but when he when he is confronted by one of the bounty hunters crab earlier or and even is confront and is double teamed by six six and crab he gets his, he well he he tries going in guns blazing fighting but he keeps getting his butt handed to him and eventually when tetrax finds him he, tetrax kind of calls him out on this and tetra and sent and at the time and, and here's the thing at the at the time of the scene ben is diamond head so Tetrax is not only criticizing him for his lack of strategy and all and so forth, but also with the fact that he has this alien at his disposal, but he doesn't think things through with him at all. He just decides that uh, he just thinks that he could, eh, as long as he has this brute strength, he can do whatever. And Tetrax calls him out on that. And I think what also is nice is I I I kind of I like the design. And it it really does work, and I do kind of and I do like the payoff that Ben, the what the alien that Ben uses to actually defeat the bounty hunters is not one of his heavy hitters, but is instead the small alien that is kind of only useful in select situations. And honestly, this is actually one of the select situations, and it kind of shows more of what great what this alien gray matter is capable of, because as the name implies, while he is gr small, while he is gray, he's also rather smart. Ben, no, ben, when Ben transformed into him, he meant he managed to use him to disable the bounty hunter's weapons and abilities. Though I think in Crab's case, all of that was his body, but that's just me thinking. But it actually is nice because it shows him thinking strategically and uh, thinking strategically and working through it. But to be honest, I and. Well, actually, hold on. I'm still. I think so. I and I do kind of also like. Sorry, I, I think there's also more I can say. I also, kind of like how I, there's a, and, I'll, and it kind of works that Tetrax is one of the people that that tells Ben the lesson of you need to think things through, because his grandfather said the same thing earlier in the episode. But Tetrax throughout constantly throughout the episode puts this into practice because when he comes to Earth, the first thing he does is try investigating, and even when Ben does fight the bounty hunters, Tetrax is there. But he never confronts Ben. But he never confronts Ben. He just kind of sits on the sidelines and watches. And thus, when he finally does confront Ben to get and gets him away from the other from Six Six and Crab, and thus is that, and starts criticizing him on that. It's stuff. It's pre, it's based on his observation, so it makes sense. But honestly, I think and well, actually, I might as well just talk about the designs of these guys. I think. I, well, I I think they're all well well designed and they're all really good fight. And I think they're all kind of nice and in, in the. They have all their own specific strengths. Like Crab is, an, Crab is kind of a techno whiz, but is is kind of a techno whiz, but also kind of good in strength. Six Six is the alien that ne is the bounty hunter that never speaks a word of English. He always speaks in his native tongue, and yet all every other alien seems to understand him. But he's got all these weapons at his disposal, and again, Tetrax is the guy that sits back and waits until for the right moment to strike. But, but. Honestly, I, I I might as well just finally get to what I didn't like about the episode because I keep almost getting to that and then just talking about something else I like. Honestly, what I don't like, ironically, is the end. It's just kind of the resolution. Like I do, I do like that Ben. Like well, because here's the, I've said that Ben does kind of that part of the Ben's character is that he does kind of go in guns blazing, damn the consequences. 
And while that's not always the case, because Ben does, because Ben doesn't doesn't always just ha have that mindset. Ben kind of is all. It's not a, a. It's not a lesson that kind of reverberates throughout the rest of the series. If that's the right word. Like Ben, cause, and well, because while Ben does think things through most of the time, usually his go-to alien is always the strong guy, like forearms, heat blast, diamond head, etc. And in this episode, while it does have him think strategically, it doesn't. He doesn't really continue to do that throughout the rest of the series. I mean, he does have an idea. I mean, he can does know certain aliens throughout the, that are good for the right occasion. But honestly, it's just for him. He just seems to like to punch things. So while the lesson is a good lesson, it doesn't really stick throughout the rest of the series. And on top of that. I kind of think the resolution with Tetrax kind of felt forced because Tetrax admittedly is actually a very nice character. I do like that he is that he is contemplative and sits back and waits, as I have said before in this video. But he, but he seems to be rather convinced that Ben is a use is worthy of the on the tricks rather quickly, even though all every time he looked at Ben before and even when they finally confronted each other, he was very critical of him. Thought that and he thought that. Maybe the Omnitrix should have been wound up on the wrist of someone else, and yet, ben, and the, it's, it seems that the only thing that it takes to convince Tetrax that Ben is worthy of the Omnitrix is Ben using gray is using a great using gray matter to defeat Six Six and Crab. So on, which kind of which just kind of feels dumb if you ask me. I mean. You can probably make the excuse that he sees potential in Ben, and that there is room for growth, and that that's what he's and that's what he's hoping will happen. But it's never really clarified, and it just kind of feels like no, because it feels because I okay, I know they shouldn't, they can't get rid of Ben, they can't just take Ben to space or have him remove the Omnitrix because then you kind of get rid of the premise of the show, Ben traveling around the country saving people with that thing. But at the same time, it just felt like that they that Tetrax kind of gave it that. Tetrax, accept, Tetrax accepted him way too easily. That because because he did actually have legitimate points on Ben, and while I'm not saying that Ben is a complete moron, I don't think those I think those points could still stand. It's just that Ben just, just did take his words to heart. I'm I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking that may, I'm thinking that maybe Tetrax thinks that there is room for him to grow, and thus he decides you know what I'm gonna let this guy keep it because he's obviously got a good heart he wants to help people so I might as well and he actually can think strategically so maybe I'll give him a shot but I don't know that's I just I just think it felt a little forced so that yeah but on the whole I, I while I don't while I don't while I don't enjoy hunted as this episode as much as I did when I was younger I do think it's objectively still rather good. It's not, it, I don't, I wouldn't, I, it's not really on my top 10 or top five, on my top 10 list of favorite episodes, but I still think it's a rather fine, ep I still think it's rather good with the end, with, I think the bounty hunters look nice, the action of course again is nice, we see more what Ben can do with his aliens, and specifically Diamond Head and Grey Matter, and I, I do like the, le I do, and I, I rather, and I do like the lesson that you can't, that while you can always, that you can still fight, there's, you still need to think of a plan and think things through, so... Yeah, I think it's a, I think that this is a rather good episode, but it's not really one that I it's a good but it's not really on my favorites list. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and tune in next week as we look at the sixth episode of the original Ben Ten series and the first episode of Ben Ten that I actually watched as a kid. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week. Take care.